Hey, what's going on guys? All in China, Jose Good Forever here. So I know uh, a lot of people have been doing videos talking about the financials that uh, Microsoft, and more specifically Xbox, has been putting out after their financial call, um, which I find very interesting. I'm not going to get into all the numbers. There's still one thing I want people to focus on, um, especially if you guys are like me, um, an Xbox fan and also a consumer, and especially on the consumer side. One thing I hope everybody keeps in mind is market share which I think is really important. Um, Game Pass is doing really well, um, and I think that's great uh, for those of you guys who are like Xbox online like myself, who actually play your Xbox and play your games and actually are involved in the ecosystem and have been involved in the ecosystem ever since 2015. Um, and I've been an Xbox One owner since 2013. A lot of you guys know how it's been on the Xbox side and how good we kind of have it. Um, but what's happening now is that just regular people are beginning to realize um, what Xbox has to offer gamers in general. And I'm talking across the board, man. I'm talking normies, I'm talking noobs, I'm talking even the media, uh, which I find interesting. I'm a little bit late to the game, um, but it's a good thing. And if we're gonna focus on anything, yes, the money is important, right? Um, so is the studios. Everything that Microsoft has done to build up to this point is important. But the thing that I recommend you guys really look at, look at is the market share. And what I mean by that, um, everybody compares Game Pass to Netflix when it comes to Microsoft and what they're trying to do in the gaming space. Um, I agree with that as well. And one of the reasons why Netflix is as big as, as it is is because it has a huge market share. And that's something that I hope Microsoft continues to look forward to. Um, and I hope that kind of guides, uh, at least going forward, um, how they're gonna get Xbox uh, Game Pass to grow. Uh, not listening to all the console work crap, not listening to all these uh, supposed industry leaders and all these people that have, you know, have their opinions and stuff like that, which is fine, everybody can have an opinion, but, you know, just stick to what made them successful, stick to what's working for them, that's most important in my opinion, and um, stick to what we like, <laughs> especially the guys that actually, you know, buy the games and play the games and actually are involved in what Microsoft is offering. You know, you'll see that across the board in anything whether it's Disney Plus or Netflix itself, you know, there's people that, you know, they might utilize the system, but they're not hardcore fans. You know, Microsoft has a, has a chance, especially with Xbox Game Pass, to really flip the script and to push forward and to give the consumers and their fans something that's, you know, not just special, but something that everybody can enjoy. So hopefully they stay on that path, man. And again, if you guys are going to look at anything, it's going to be growth. You know, just imagine if Microsoft continues to grow Game Pass at the rate that it does to the point where I think if it hits 40 to 50 million subscribers, um, you know, the sky's the limit. You know, you're in a whole new ball game there. And all the stuff that Microsoft has been putting up with, the stuff that we've been putting up with since 2015, um, even until 2015 when um, Phil Spencer was, you know, he took over officially and started changing things around, you know, looking at the bigger picture. Um, we're going to benefit from that, and I think that's good, um, as long as they stay on point. So, anyway, all the numbers and stuff, they're interesting to me. Um, I could probably do a breakdown of it, but I just wanted to do a quick video and let you guys know. Um, just enjoy this moment, enjoy what we have. You know, right now, currently, I got such a backlog of games, and I'm hearing everybody saying the same thing, which is true. Um, just downloaded uh, Second Extinction last night. Didn't get a chance to play because I'm so busy trying to catch up with the other games um, that I currently have and the games that I just recently bought and that's the most amazing thing to me about Game Pass. Um, I actually picked up Doctor's Judgment. I actually did a small video and posted it on my social media. Um, but it's amazing to me how Game Pass is getting me excited for playing games again and not just games that I tend to to play but all kinds of different games. And it's, it's bringing back my childhood. Man. It's 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 fun discovering stuff. You know, and it's fun um, enjoying games for what they are. And I think that's the magic behind Game Pass. And again, if Microsoft can continue to grow it, man, it'll be good times for everybody. Anyway, just a quick video. All on channel, we out.